Hello, this is uh, Sideburn Scroll coming at you with a review for the first episode of 12 Monkey Season 2, Year of the Monkey. I know I've fallen uh, behind on my reviews, but I'm going to be trying to catch up on um, all my reviews on my channel and catch up with content. And so I'm going back and doubling back and going to give the reviews for the first two episodes of 12 Monkeys and then go on and give the ones that have uh, come later on. But anyway... Uh, to the episode. Uh, this was the first episode of the season. It really kicked off with a good start. Um, basically, Ramses and Cole were in um, Budapest trying to set a trap for the Twelve Monkeys, who uh, army of the Twelve Monkeys, who have always seemed to be a step ahead of them. And uh, through um, thought, they figured out that Ramses has a tracker, and that's the reason they've been ahead of uh, ahead of. Uh, Twelve monkeys have been ahead of them and uh, been able to predict all their plans, and so they had to get the tracker removed. Well, they go to get the tracker removed from a uh, sort of a back alley surgeon, and he, uh, the the back alley surgeon, actually uh, turns them into the twelve monkeys, or tries to at least for his own freedom. Of course, that doesn't go well. Uh, Cole kills him, and uh, they get, but the tracker is removed. And basically, after that, they come come to figure out that the plague is planned. The uh, plague that twelve monkeys have planned, you know, to wipe out the majority of humanity that they've been trying to stop the whole um, time, is planned to uh, start ch at the uh, Chinese New Year. And so they track down and and by Jennifer Goins, and by Jennifer Goins. So they track down uh, Jennifer Goins, and uh, Cassie actually shows up from 2044, because if you remember from the first season, she got transported to 2044, she shows up, and basically at the end of the episode, there's a cliffhanger, and it's uh, Cassie and Cole both have guns pulled on each other with uh, Ramsey's knocked out and the Chinese New Year parade, Chinese New Year's uh, parade, and uh, Jennifer Goins holding the vial about to start the virus, so it ends on a cliffhanger. This episode overall, it was like a great way to kick off the season, like... There was good action sequences. Um, started to delve into the lore of the show a little bit more with uh, talking about The Witness. Uh, everything about this episode was fantastic. Um, it was just great. It was amazing. Cole, the the actors who play uh, Cole and Cassie and Ramses that are doing a fantastic job, and they're doing an even better job this season, as I've, you know, said, I've seen a lot more this season, uh, with their roles, and just the way they kicked it off was so fantastic this year, uh, it's sort of, it's sort of brought back, um, it, it was just amazing, this whole entire episode was amazing, I would, I, I would give it a 9 out of 10, uh, just simply fantastic, a way to, you know, because you'd been gone for a year from the show, and they needed a way to loop you back in, and so uh, they needed to make the first episode and the first impressions, uh, or the second impressions, I should say, they needed to keep up with the pace of the previous season, but I actually think, starting with this episode and this whole entire season, they've surpassed the my expectations of... Uh, what it, what this show could be, and I'm I'm happy for it. And this episode is just simply fantastic. You should check it out. I'd give it a nine out of ten. Uh, I would, uh, I would. I'm gonna rewatch the season again, and when I do, I'll definitely be looking forward to this episode and looking forward to this season from start to finish. So nine out of ten. I would give uh, Twelve Monkeys Year the Monkey. First episode of season two, a nine out of ten. It's the the action's fantastic. The uh, lore is amazing, and uh, the dynamic between Cole and Ramses is still great. And Cassie, of course, uh, it's fun seeing Cassie on the opposite end of where Cole was last year as well. So I give it a nine out of ten. Uh, and a good cliffhanger, I guess. 9 out of 10. Uh, this has been Sideburn Scroll uh, signing off.